Good morning, good morning to everyone, and I'm sorry to be a little bit late, but I was a little delayed because there's a big hatch of turtles um, just up by Royal Pavilion itself, so I was taking some pictures and sending them off to the Barbados Turtle Project, so I'm sure they will get that, but you all will hopefully see them. They were all making their way towards the water safely. Um, obviously, you're not supposed to interfere them when they're doing that, so I left that alone, and hopefully when we get back up there, you will have the opportunity to see them. Good morning to all of you all, and welcome to the beautiful beautiful island of Barbados. Now you notice I have on my umbrella and when you look at the skies you're saying but I don't understand what he has on for today but trust me they've got some clouds that have been lingering around here and all the roads coming here are wet this morning so you know I don't want to stop our transmission for anything so I got to make sure and bring the umbrella just to play it safe. You know good morning to all you all and welcome to my beautiful island. This is called the beauty of Barbados through my eyes and we are the EMC. We're a morning gathering. They do this every morning except for Sunday and we just get together, say prayers, say thank you, Lord, for blessing us with another day of life and for giving us this spectacular beauty. You know, time to see the beauty now. Just perfect low tide conditions this morning. Absolutely perfect for this walk. It's going to be a long one, so if you're not walking with us, please go and get your popcorn and your coffee or whatever you like at this time of morning and get yourself ready because we're going to have some breathtaking scenery coming your way in a few minutes' time. All right, just um, see how beautiful out here is this morning. Everything is waking up. It's just a stunning morning. Beautiful, beautiful skies. Just spectacular today. Look at this view that we're taking in. Now, we got a long walk, as I said before. So before we start our walk this morning, let us start with our serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Thank you, God, for life this morning, for me being here with my friends, that we are able to take in this beautiful daybreak and watch your glorious day awaken. It's beautiful this morning, as you can see. Um, we're going to have a beautiful walk for you. It is spectacular. I've just done it in the opposite direction because I parked up in Fortstone Park. Um, good stroll down here for sure. So I'm looking at close to uh, maybe 50 minutes or so. We're going to take our time. We're going to enjoy this morning. We're going to enjoy the low tide and we're going to enjoy the blessings of life. So let us start our journey now. Right, we got one on the belt, so let us proceed. Good morning to all you all again, and what a stunning day it is today. I know the waterman is on the south side this morning. He's doing, I believe, Brandon's uh, Rockley. We were talking about it this morning online. So he is doing his own thing this morning, and I know he's having an amazing time on that side of the island. This is the kind of tide that you want to be walking anywhere at all, or in cliffs, no matter where. This is the preferred tide to take in this island because you're gonna see beauty that you would not see at high tide. You would not see any of this coral mass that's here at high tide. So this is an advantage of coming out early on the morning. And it's also so calm and placid. Just beautiful, beautiful morning. The reflections haven't started to really wake up yet, but I know when the sun comes up a little further, which we're gonna be here for a while, so we're gonna see some spectacular reflections and glows on the water this morning. Now at high tide, you would not be able to come around this point too comfortably um, because the, the high tide actually comes right up on the coconut trees. So. It'd be a little difficult to see where you're walking here and stuff, but you can do it, but just make sure you're wearing beach shoes, please. Um, I didn't see any sea urchins. There are really no sea urchins in this type of coral here. However, you don't know what may wash in, so just be wary when you're walking the coastline. 
just always keep your eyes sort of like where you're going. I know you're going to get caught with the beauty. And definitely, definitely take your attention onto beauty and stuff off of where you're walking. But always keep a lookout, you know, just to be on the safe side. You can see there's an army of crabs there just hanging out on the lower elevation. I really don't want to frighten them too much, so I won't go too close to them, but hopefully you're making them out. Just beautiful, beautiful down here. This is a treat for me because I, I have I've rarely walked this far down because usually when I come down, I don't pick a tide. I mean, we did it last time we were here because it was low tide. But normally when I come on the west coast or any pass when you come to the west coast, I didn't worry about the tide too much. I just want to come to the west coast and get any sea. So that wasn't really relevant. But now it is so stunning down here. We're directly below St. Francis Church if you're wondering where we are. We're going into Alien Bay now. Beautiful area, probably one of the most preferred West Coast beaches for a lot of you all on here. I know many of you all have spent countless hours laying flat on this beach and then sand gravity take over. Even have a little gull in there as well. Nice, beautiful, beautiful waterside views this morning. Whoops, a little slippery for sure. So just be careful down here. I just want to get off the further section here, but did step across some moss, so you know it is. You know me already, I am Olympic trained acrobat. <laughs> so if I, if I fall, I fall with grace and style, which you may not see, but you probably won't even know because I will go down so smartly and get back up so quickly that you may not even realize I've been down. Well, I hope that'll be the case anyhow. The training I've had for the Olympics is how to fall and get up with grace. That is spectacular training. Very few actually go into that sport um, obviously because of the pain that's associated with it, but you know I me, mean? they say I'm the Bajan warrior, it's love, but I'm also pretty hard, hard Batman. Somebody told me yesterday that the dogs were not interested in me because I was too hard and too tough for breakfast. I had to tell them, you're right, too hard and too dry and too tough, like an old leather bat. Lovely, lovely down here this morning. I'm going to walk for a couple of seconds and let you hear the slapping of the surf. I'm just going to get my feet out of the water so it doesn't distract me from it. So here, here as we go right now, enjoy. We always talk about the coast, the west coast and south coast, especially building sand this time of the year. And you will see that for sure here today. Uh, you know, there's lots and lots of sand down here. It's a full beach right now, just gorgeous. Lone Star Restaurant just over on our left coming up. Do you want anything more beautiful than that? Would you like to be vacationing anywhere else in the world but that? And when I say that, I mean Barbados. <laughs> Not just this beach alone, but that is spectacular. Pull it. Let me do that again. That is spectacular. Stunning, for sure, without a doubt. Now, I know my voice is going to carry down here, so we may get some dogs greeting me. As you all know already, the canine family is a part of my family as well. So they love to speak to me on the morning. As I mentioned yesterday, when you hear them sounding aggressive, it's because they know you're there. The tail will always be wagging. That's because they see me. Happy dogs, happy neck. Just lovely. The setting down here is just spectacular. I remember I met a friend down here uh, early last year, well, in the latter part of last year, I think it was, um, or very early this year, with his baby walking this beach. Can't remember his name off. And you all know me and names already. Uh, don't have any memory for that at all. Anyway, I want to say good morning to you all, so I'm going to take you where I can actually say good morning to you all and also film it. Here we go. It's a perfect selfie opportunity. Here we go. Good morning. Greetings from Barbados. And welcome to you. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Beautiful life. Fantastic. Here we go again. Imagine two nicks in this world. That would be terrible. Jeez. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful setting. I mean, absolutely magnificent. I have never eaten here. This is definitely out of my price range. I'm a local eater. You know, my angel cooks like a top class chef. So, you know, anywhere I go, I always criticize the food. <laughs> Believe it or not, she cooks exactly as I love it. Lots of um, people I've seen on the beach this morning early. I've been telling them about the turtles to go and have a look. 
You don't see anyone up there now, so hopefully the entire hatch has made its way through water, but I'll show you anyhow where it was. The old familiar sound of the buses traveling up and down Highway 1. Anybody that has been on the West Coast or stays in the West Coast or even has just gone down here and lay on the beach for a few hours would know what I'm talking about. You can hear them going up and down. It's sort of like the paddle ball noise that you would hear on the South Coast around Miami Beach. It's something that you get accustomed to. It's just a part of, part of down here. Lots of little bars and stuff that are set up down here as well. I um, mean, you know, also there are lots of conveniences. You don't have to go into any big restaurants. There's some beachfront bars here. Like, hey, there's goggles just behind us that we passed a few minutes ago. And then there's another one here as well. Not too sure who uh, or the name of this here I'm looking for. Oh, there goes Starfish. As I said, I don't really frequent the establishments on these areas. I come to the beach, and the beach is where I want to be and the sea. I don't really worry too much about the other stuff. I bring my cooler or bring my bottle of water, and I'm good to go. Now, this is one beautiful, beautiful location. Stunning. And I don't know if any of you all have stayed here before, but that, I mean, I can't think of a more beautiful and stunning view on any time of day from right through 24 hours a day. Looking from here, it must be just spectacular. Beautiful views, lovely gallery area, big jacuzzi on the deck there as well. So you would know all the conveniences are there. In case you're interested, the Villa Rentals are by Blue Sky. Blue Sky Rentals, okay? So you can check that if you're interested. Now, I know a lot of you that have been here will say this beach looks still small because you have seen it most of the time in the January time when it's had its full chance to... Oh, are you going to saw them? Yeah. Yeah, could you like to say to friends, to my friends in the world? Yeah. Say good morning to all my friends in the world, please, sir. Uh, good morning, Chad. And uh, what's your name, man? My name is Oscar Burnham. Oscar Burnham, good morning. I'm Nicholas Dean, we're the EMC, and everyone here is saying good morning to you, Oscar. Thanks. We have about 100 people saying hi. They decided to put, the, put them in the sequel. Right. Like crowds were biting, their eyes. Oh, wow. Okay, well, thanks, man. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right, thanks for the wonderful job you're okay. doing, man. Okay, man. Thank you, too, man. Another proud Bajan person who is just so happy to be around. Um, as you just mentioned, that ladies, I don't know if you understood everything you went on there, but she was mentioning that the two ladies I spoke to before went up and actually assisted the turtles to the water's edge because of the crabs around. Seemed to have been interfering with them. So, anyway, I have tagged... Paula, so it's done basically all I can do this morning. Just stunning though. Now, I have never stayed here again, but I remember this hotel from the very beginning, the time it was built, because originally this was, this was built a long time ago, but I love the original design of it, which is low level. You know, it's just like two upper stories. It fits in beautifully with all of the tree line. The color, colors of it are just perfectly uh, blended for this area. You know, you can walk up this beach and don't see, it doesn't look out of place. You know, you can go somewhere and see a big hotel or resort that's set up. And it just looks wrong for the area, you know. But this looks perfect. This is absolutely stunning. Royal Pavilion. People call it Fairmont. I go by the old name of Royal Pavilion. Just beautiful scenery. Look at the glows on this beach now begin to come up. Spectacular. I know a lot of you make comments on here, um, but I, I can't really see all of them because you can appreciate it. I do keep my eyes where I'm going and I'm always looking around to try and capture that thing that may pass us and keep my vision going so that we can see. I've done numerous, numerous hashtags today. Some with hashtags, some without because I need um, everyone that walks this beach to know there's somewhere that's called the EMC. Hopefully they will find that online. Just beautiful this morning. Good morning. Having a good vacation? Wonderful. Have some lovely visitors here. A little baby who's never forget Barbados. Born on sand. Isn't that amazing? So this hotel itself is getting, its, uh, getting ready. There are quite a few of them that are closed in September. Like um, Coral Reef is, is presently closed, but Colony Club is open. But a lot, that is traditional for a lot of the West Coast hotels. Um, they were closed. And also restaurants on the island in general and businesses that are tourism oriented. Um, they prepare, this is called their preparation time in September. This is probably the slowest, normally, <laughs> everything I'm talking about applies to before COVID. Um, this is probably the slowest time of year for the island. I would say September and October, really, really quiet. And then November, you start to see a trickle of guests starting to come in and visitors, just like with the cruise lines as well. That is sort of their um, season. I'm not too sure I'll be affected this year with the same 
COVID situation, but I know that November is where it starts to come in pretty heavy. And then December, it really cranks and they're on very much like our land base. The tourism, uh, the cruise tourism and land based tourism is very similar. And just the difference is that we do have a summer market here, um, especially for like crop over and stuff. So around, uh, you know, June, July gets busy again into August where the highlights of tourism, where our highlight of the crop over festivity is Kadumont Day. I'm going to do another silent 360 for you here, just for you to enjoy this. So here we go. Good morning to you, Mr. Conductor. I hope you had a good day off yesterday, and I really hope those British girls are giving you enough trouble today, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know I don't amount the trouble you give me, so all I gotta do is put out a plea to all of those on the bus to give you some trouble, and we're gonna be even. <laughs> just beautiful. All right, just to the um, to the south of where we are, we're coming up to Glitter Bay Hotel. Uh, that has been around for a long time as well. It's been through a lot of changes, though. So. Greta Bay was a massive complex at one time, but they've taken on an entire block and spaced out far more beautifully now. Go into that area in a couple of seconds, talk a little bit more about it. Uh, we are seeing that little ripple. Actually, hold on, we're coming up to where the turtles were. So let me see if all of them are in the water now. This is where the hatch was. It was a full hatch that was coming down here. Um, you can see the footsteps and stuff of the, get of the ladies who were assisting them into the water. Um, but they've all gone into water now. Nothing has been left behind, which is wonderful, wonderful news. As I said, I did take some pictures and send them to Paula. So if, she, if she's online now, um, she will know that they're actually in the water now. Lovely hotel. I can tell you this hotel is open. I can smell their breakfast being cooked right now. Not my dish, but definitely something that I used to love. And that's eggs and bacon. You can clearly smell that. You can also smell buttered toast as well here. <laughs> there you go, all the senses are alert. What a peaceful morning. I mean, birds are all around keeping noise, and not noise, but beautiful sounds. And it's just a lovely, lovely morning. I'm keep quiet for a second so you can enjoy these birds singing behind me. Just spectacular. Look at those glows and reflections that are beginning to come alive now. Boy, we're going to have one beautiful morning here in the island. You can see right down to the Arawak cement plant, the furthest point there, where there is a jetty that goes out. Um, you know, so you can see the visibility today is really going to be great. There is a little bit, a little bit of haze, um, but nothing like we have seen like over the months gone by. Very, very clear today. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Now, I remember when they used to surf down here at a break called Miramar, which is just where you see that water, that, um, where you see the little ripples there on that reef itself. Uh, that is a really short but very powerful and very hollow left. And this used to be very, very popular at one time. This is one of the old time breaks, I would call it. Um, it we used to drive down um, into Miramar Hotel, just to the south of Miramar Hotel, and come right here. Miramar was where Royal Pavilion and, well, where, yeah, where Royal Pavilion is located now. So we used to have easy access, very difficult to get down here now. You'd have to park um, probably up by Aileen Bay and walk with your board up here. But it is a spectacular break. I am hoping to cover these with the first big north swell that comes down. Um, because it, this island is going to transform when the waves start to break. And you all are going to be there with me. As long as God gives us life, we will be watching all of it together. Good morning to all 68 of you on board. I'm watching numbers go up into 70s, go back down. So I know there are a lot of you on board this morning. Thank you for taking even if it's one minute out to say good morning or just to come online. 
If you are not a friend of mine or a friend of someone on here, you're not going to be able to comment. So I would recommend that you send me a friend's request on Facebook. That way then I can open up a new world for you. When I say a new world, because we have thousands and thousands of photos on Facebook, they're only accessible by friends because my friends deserve the absolute best. Also, if you come on there, you'll be able to comment live and you'll also get some information from me, like a map of all the places we've visited. Remember, the map has not been updated since July, um, the beginning of July so, or June. Um, so I have a lot of updates to go on it. We haven't really done a lot of new places, but we've done a lot of walks um, from one location to the other. So it'll be putting in, like, I'll do another map with the walks itself to show you the coastline that we've covered, which is almost all of Barbados. Thank you, Kathy Gabriel, for sending her friend's request. Wonderful. She will be a, very soon a member of our family, everyone. So if you can welcome her on board, my care can can. We have some new members on board this morning. Just beautiful. I see a lot of my Bajan sisters on here and my Caribbean sisters as well. Good morning to all of you all. You know, when we say family, and we say sisters, and we say brothers, we genuinely mean that. It is not, it's not any other way but that. It's not a commercial um, wording or anything for promotion. It is strictly, that's the way we feel. It is love that we share, brotherly and sisterly love. That is what makes this EMC such an important um, you know, part of my life, and I'm sure of many people's lives as well. The EMC is not, not a Nicholas Dean project. It is a, our project. It is the EMC family. So everyone, is, everyone plays a part in it, you know, the, the, the love and care is being shared. You know, yesterday when I got home and I talked to my angel and asked her if she was on, she said, she, well, I asked, she told her I saw her on, and she said she was on from the very beginning and that she could not believe the love and care and friendship that was being expressed in the room. She said she had an incredible feeling and that, it, you know, it is something that is definitely godly without a doubt. Just beautiful. Okay, these are ladies, the good Samaritans that put the turtles in the water. So Glitter Bay used to have another block of hotels used to run on the center of the property here. Um, another big block as well, but over the years they have um, taken that down and just kept the beautiful grounds on it. It's a, a lovely, lovely hotel. Beautiful grounds, I love the design. I just, I just like how it looks. It, again, it's just like Royal Pavilion, it fits in place, although it's very different. It fits in place, looks like a part of the island. Good morning, ladies. Thank you very much for your good gesture. Would you like to say hello to all of my friends all over the world? About 100 people online right now. Good morning to you all. Yeah, at least I would say close to that. 65 online, but close to 100. Right, thank you very much. Huh? Have a great day, everyone. Be blessed. Yep. So, you know I me, mean? I always like to include everyone around me because I think that is very important. It just shows of how, you know, you can radiate a love and peace and kindness that some people who are really not too comfortable with a camera can sometimes be comfortable with it. You know, I don't ever try and put anyone in an awkward position. Sort of like feel out the situation first and then I will usually ask. Uh, sometimes I come wrong a little quicker than when I ask. So, so I know you all have witnessed that as well. But I've never had any bad responses to it because it's how you come to people and it's what you radiate. That's the way I honestly believe. You know, you give off love, you will get love in return. You can see the kind of clouds that are all around this morning, but look at the rays to the top of this cloud that are coming up. Check out that. Isn't that just spectacular? The rays of a promise of a new day. So let us do our absolute best to show God that we appreciate our life today by doing the things that we know He would like. A lot of work went on on this west coast as well, right in the beachfront area. Um, this home here had some steps just in front of it. You used to walk up onto um, sort of like a little terrace and then walk off on the other side that we could use. I am so happy that today is low tide because those steps have been removed. I don't know if they're putting them back again. I don't know if they're going to make better ones or if they're not going to put them back. But if they don't put them back, you will not be able to get around where we're going now uh, at high tide. And that is for sure. You will see the EMC litter all over the place. And I say litter, I don't mean it as in a bad thing. I just mean that it's all over the place this morning. I was just so happy this morning coming down here 
but I said I'm going to try and spread our word everywhere. So anyone that walks this beach this morning will see it. Even if someone wants to come and you raise it off the beach, they're still going to see it. My breakfast on the morning is bear fruit, 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 and more fruit. Just spectacular. We're, I would say, not even halfway. We're already over the 30 minute mark, but I really don't mind. So long as you all don't have anywhere to go, or so long as you're gonna enjoy this here, I'm gonna bring it to you. Um, whether you, you know, whether I was doing this or not, I will always walk the beach in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning is a blessing for me. It is my time for feeling God and reflecting, enjoying the peace and the serenity. It's the kind of time that you do not find throughout the day. This is the only time that you will find what we're seeing right now. Hardly anyone on the beach. The people that are, are exercising and they're conscious and they're happy because they're out here exercising. You know, it's just a peaceful, peaceful setting. All right, um, I don't know if you remember the last time we came here from Whole Town, we came down some steps in that general area. This is what I was talking about just now. However, it is the ultimate low tide right now. Perfect conditions for what we're doing. Even better than the last time we were here, because the last time we were here, we could not have walked in front of here. Uh, but again, remember, the sand does build coming into this time of year on the west coast and the south, especially on those two coastlines. East coast usually takes a little bit of a pound at this time of year because this is their wave season. Normally, traditionally, August was the real wave month. I have always taken my vacation and my past jobs in August so I could get over to Soup Bowl and surf all summer. Um, that has changed. The whole cycle has changed over the years. You know, we had a defined South Coast Swell period, West Coast Swell period, and East Coast Swell period. That has changed a lot now. It varies a lot. And the consistency of the swells are definitely not here anymore as they used to be. There is a public access call. I think it's either Queens, we are Queens Drive. Can't remember offhand. It comes to this point here. Um, they say it's a private road, but it is a public access to the beach. So if you are coming down here, just park for me. Um, you know, to a side and don't block anyone, but it's just around the corner is where you'll find the parking. And that is the turning after the one that goes into Herring Bay. Remember, Herring Bay is just to the north of Colony Clubs. So if you're coming and you want to get to Herring Bay or you want to get down here, Herring Bay would be a very good point to park at. And that is just to the north of Colony Club, um, directly opposite the road that will take you up to Westmoreland. Um, you just come down in that gap there. Now, sometimes if the residents in the actual Herring Bay house itself, they may have on security, they may have a bar down, but you can park before the bar and walk in comfortably. Now, up here has a budgie Avery, and I know they let them out and let them fly wild. I don't know if they're out this time of morning, but there is a budgie Avery just in front of us here. You can hear them. I'm gonna keep quiet as we go past here, and there are a few little birds, and lots of other kinds of birds are flying around here. Obviously picking up the food and stuff that's scattered out, but here we go. And their budgies all in the trees around us. You can hear them. You can see them flying around. Look at them up there, just flying around. Isn't that just beautiful? Wow, what beauty and what freedom. I, lo I love to see birds like that. They obviously get fed here. I don't know what, how they let them in or out, or if some of these are the escape artists that when he opened to feed, or she opened to feed, that they ran out or flew out. But uh, <laughs> they definitely have some escape artists down here for sure, some Houdinis amongst these budgies. I see at least, I'd say 30 or 40 of them flying wild. And I can hear from inside the cage area, there were considerably bit more than that for sure. This is a fairly new structure here. Uh, when I say new, I would say maybe 15 years or so, somewhere in that kind of time frame. Uh, maybe not that long either. But I remember when I used to walk this beach quite often um, that they didn't have any home here. Well, they had a small home, but not this big massive home. And they certainly didn't have these big protective rocks in front either. This is a property that was purchased by the owners of Herring Bay. 
Um, I don't want to get into too much of what happened, or who it was purchased for, but I do know it is owned by the owners of Herring Bay. And they're now doing some renovations on it. It sat here for quite a few years. It was used as well, but it wasn't really um, used in the way it's obviously going to be used. And I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. But they're rebuilding the entire breakwater. And they're putting a, foot, a footpath around, which is just perfect. Because it was very difficult to get around here before. The one they had before was on sea level. And it used to always get mossy and stuff. And I've seen so many visitors fall as they were coming around this point. I mean, seriously, no joke. Almost every time he came here, someone took a slide in a fall. Spectacular. Now, we're done here. Last year in October, I think it was October. Uh, yes, just in October, November, with no sand on this beach at all. The only thing that was on this beach were small rocks and normal coral rocks. But now, as you can see, it's a beautiful sand. This just shows you how the season can change the beach structure down here. Now, for any of you that have been down here, we'll probably be saying, man, that beach is always big. But most of you have probably been here in high season, which is November, December, you know, January, February, March. And that, unless you have a big north swell, you will see down here at its biggest. But when you get the north swell, then you get depletion of it, and then the currents change and pull a lot away as well. Now, I've got to really take my time going over here because there's some exposed metal and stuff around. So I'm just going to be palming and letting you have a look. Now, you, any of you that stayed here before would remember there was quite a big house here, single-story home. They're obviously going to be re, uh, they're obviously going to be put in something pretty large here because it's a massive investment in um, this outer section here. They're laying all this area here with the metal is where they're actually building the breakwater and the walkway, which we will see a little further on because it's completed just a little further on beyond this point. But a lot of work, a lot of work, and money is going into this area for sure. Now, I am, I am pretty certain that all of this stuff will get moved when they've completed that break water. This is just obviously for the tractors and stuff to work on. Um, you know, so this, is, this is a lot of work here that's going on. You can see that. Tons of work. Lots of dredging. You see the hoses are used to dredge out your water so they can do the concrete. A lot, a lot of stuff going on here. See that gullin? There you go. I don't know what he's fishing out of here. I know they like a lot of little fish, but... He definitely won't get any fish in this water unless they trapped some in here when they were putting out the outside section, which is possible. All right, we're coming to my favorite West Coast beach. When you talk to me about the West Coast, this is the beach that I love. I'll give you the reasons why. It's not, again, maybe not the most cosmetically beautiful, but what I like about here is up at this northern side of the beach, which is just the end of this wall, you don't get any watercraft here at all because the coral is very low. Um, you don't get a lot of people walk in this section here. Well, they probably will after this lovely walkway is finished but, um, Because you used to come to any beach here and just turn back again So this is why I love up here This is where we'll come with my angel and we will cool up here But when you talk about three o'clock in the afternoon Beastly hot because the Sun comes right under the shade from the trees or the shade shifts and you get Scorched out here for sure, but this is my favorite West Coast Beach if you tell me, Nick, where do you want to go in the island besides Sandy Beach or Animal Flower Cave to hit the reset button, I'm going to tell you, Herring Bay, for sure. I used to drive here every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 30 minutes in either direction, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how the traffic was in either direction, just to lie on this beach and get a reset. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Again, there's another uh, walkway down as well. Just after you pass the Herring Bay property, there's a left turn before you get that same Queen's Drive, I think it is. Um, and then they can come down in here as well. Again, it's an uh, area that they try not to have too much parking in. So, you know, if you're coming down in here, just act accordingly. Just, you know, respect the quietness of the area and that there is a residential area. Villas down in here are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Take a little look over at um, the Herring Bay property from here. It's probably the only place that we can really see it from the seaside. All of the great trees, great trees, great trees. Sorry I've said it three times, but I know some of you all that like grapes. So, <laughs> all right, this is the Herring Bay property. Not at its finest right now. Um, the maintenance is usually pretty consistent out here, but I would say that it's usually a lot better trimmed than stuff in this here. But they are working on the main house, so there's no one in there at the moment. I will show you that in a couple of minutes as we are going further on. What a beautiful day. Look at this water, folks. Do you want to get in that? I do. So we're going to go in, in for a, a quick cool off in a couple of seconds. I can't believe I've walked the entire Aline Bay and not been in the sea, but have on the umbrella. If I didn't have on the umbrella, we would have been in that history four times already. 
But we're going to go in in a couple of minutes thing. Just going to get a little further down, like closer to the colony club area. When I first started coming here, there were no bushes here. There were really no great trees. All there was was casuarina. And they didn't have this outer building here that you're seeing um, just behind the trees itself. They're all cottages that have been constructed since then. They have a pool behind there as well. Just a beautiful, beautiful property. When I, was, when I first started coming here, it was just the main house itself. And that was, I thought, would be it. But they've just built quite a bit on the inside. But they've built it so lovely. You can see the cottages come just behind this fence in here. Now, and see, when you have guests down here, this beach will have its own butler, its own barman, own cook, everybody. So the people will come down here. They'll be all laid out for them on the beach, and they don't have to move for the day. Now, I did put some artist's work here on the beach, and I put Angie here. And that's because this is where my angel lies down when we come to this beach, right here under these trees. So I want to send my love to her. Good morning, darling. I see you online this morning. Welcome on with the family again. Just spectacular. Now you see all this area is low, low reef. There is, um, there are a few pockets of sand that you can cool off in just on either side of that groin there. And then you can snorkel out here. Out here is a great snorkeling. But please remember, if you are coming to snorkel the west coast, it, mainly you will be snorkeling west coast. It's unlikely you'll be on the south. If you are coming snorkeling, please use a diver's flag because there's lots and lots of watercraft down here and they do not see you. So just be careful now. I'm not saying that they don't look for you, but it's very difficult to see um, someone that's in the water without a flag or any kind of flotation device around. So if you are snorkeling in the west, please be careful. If you want to snorkel without a flag, I would say Fortstone Park because that entire area is buoyed and you will not get any motorcraft coming through that buoyed area for sure. So that is what my recommendations would be if you are doing some snorkeling. Just stunning, stunning. Good morning, ladies. How are you all today? All right, we're gonna make our ways around here for a second. There we go. Just beautiful. As you can see, there are lots of scaffolding up in front of the main house. They're working on the main house itself. So I doubt there's anyone in the property. There could be some people in the cottage, but I don't see any chairs or umbrellas on the beach, which would normally happen when they're guests here. They would have them out early in the morning. This is a beautiful property again. When you're traveling on the road here, you will see how big this property is. Actually, all we walk in here, you will know how big this property is. We did a video, live video from on that raft a few months ago. We got a terrible signal in the actual life. It did come out after. I do not know why. So I'm hoping the signal strength will not drop here. It should not drop here because this is a very popular area. And I know it's a heavy use area for data and Wi-Fi. So I don't think it should drop, but we will see how it goes. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we are going for a swim, folks. So get ready, get your costumes on. If you have on slippers, leave them on the beach. Leave your towels on the beach. Bring your smiles with you though. We'll be going for a beautiful swim. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put our Barbados bike, or Angie's Barbados bike, right here next to our EMC. There you go. I don't see anybody um, rubbing out these here this morning. All of them are still in place. So that's a wonderful thing. So someone later on will see it, low tide, We'll hold that and then when it comes in a high tide, we'll have a fresh beach again. Okay, let's talk about the drop off first of all, as that's the first thing we encounter. Big drop off here this morning. Definitely a big drop off. Also, the sand around where I'm standing is very, very soft and loose. So I would say maybe a foot and a half. Serious, a, a foot and a half drop off, but you're going to be walking in soft sand prior to that. So coming back out may be a little difficult. That's what you'll find in the West Coast in most places though. So just take your time. There's nothing to be ashamed of going on your hands and knees to get yourself back out from this water. If I have to do it, I will do it for sure. But look at the transparency of this water. Woo! Word, check it out. It's beautiful conditions. So let's see, we're still holding in the high 60s. That is wonderful. Thank you for whoever is on for the entire duration. Thank you who is on right now. And anyone that's watching this later, I also thank you as well. Spread the love, spread the cheer, spread the joy, spread the, spread the care for sure. All right, now you all know that when I'm in the water, first of all, I want you to see that I'm in the water so you will know 
that I am not pulling any tricks on you all and ain't pulling any photoshopping or nothing, so this is a real thing. So I'm right now walking at chest deep of water. Sand is perfect. There are just a couple of scattered rocks out here. Just beautiful, beautiful conditions. So here we go. Just to let you see the visibility again, because there's some rocks here that you can really appreciate it. Just stunning conditions and the ads for the glows and the yeah, reflections. Just look at what's beginning to happen everywhere is waking up. All right, we get did an anti-clockwise just now. We're going to do a clockwise again. So here we go. Shh, keep quiet, by the way. This is a quiet one. So I'm going to bite my tongue. You can do it as well. Here we go. Now that's a show of endurance, 360 and then a, a, a other 360, no, 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 that's, that's, that's too much. I actually had to put my hand over my mouth, anybody looking at me was saying, wondering what is he doing? But I had to cover my mouth because I was so tempted to talk. I want to talk about that beautiful decking up there, where any sea so we can look over the bushes a lot more. Um, that was recent, that's only like maybe a year, two years, I'd say it's coming into the second season now. Um, it has a retractable top, a canvas top that they put on it and it is perfectly located that you can go up there and enjoy the sunset and stuff without actually having to go on the beach. Just beautiful, beautiful lookout point. Just absolutely beautiful. This entire area is lovely. Now if you want to see probably three of the happiest dogs in Barbados, good morning. There you go, three of the happiest dogs in Barbados for sure. Beach dogs having a walk, how oh, lovely. All right, we're going to go back out. We're going to start to walk off again. Still got a little ways to go, folks. Um, I see the time's coming up, but we're going to pretty much do our longest video to date because we are not stopping this until they get back to the war wagon for sure. So we're going to just take our time. We're not in a rush. We're enjoying the beauty of Barbados. Any of you that have to go, I understand you have to go. It's not a problem, but there's some of you that this is your daily medication. Barbados medication coming your way for sure. If you're missing this island, uh, hopefully this will bring you a little bit of peace for today because I know a lot of you are really really sad about not being able to travel right now I've seen a lot of messages recently about cancellations due to the um, current surge that's going on with the um, virus in this island the Delta virus itself, Delta strain so I understand all that is happening but there's some of you that have braved it and are here on the island I would like to welcome you and thank you for coming um, you know you've come because you've wanted to be here and you've come through free will and that is the important thing. And I know you're going to enjoy it. I know there are people staying all over this island. I, I know there are quite a few of the EMC. Unfortunately, it's not, um, it's not right now I cannot walk with them because of the no hiking policy that's in place or protocol that's in place. Uh, you know, I am not allowed to walk with people per se. So I have to restrict that right now. Even my hikologist is sort of like biting at me a bit to get back out on, his, on the road again with me. But we are going to play it right because we're going to lead by example because that's what we do in the EMC. Lead by example. Beautiful this morning. Just beautiful. As you can see, there are quite a few more people coming out now. Uh, you know, We were probably the earliest on the beach when it came on this morning. I actually got into the Fort Stone Car Park at 25 past 5. 
um, and I got onto the beach by half ass and there was really no one out here at all. Okay, Colony Club Hotel, lovely hotel. They have sim up, uh, they have pools in front of the rooms that actually work their way down to the pool bar, which is beautiful. Just a lovely, lovely resort. And as I had mentioned before, but the drive in is just to the north. This is the roadway here that comes down. Um, as I said, you sometimes might be restricted um, by the security bar. You may see it erect in the distance, um, but it still leaves you quite a bit of parking. And then there's parking on the other side of the road opposite to here. Um, there's a, a good foundation area where you can park and then you can walk in. Down here is my favorite beach in the world. I can assure you, if you come down here on this beach, you're going to get a reset button and you're going to feel happy, happy, happy. Look at this water this morning. My goodness, not only is it low tide, but look at how beautiful it is. Just stunning. All right, on we go again. I'm trying to stay as close to the water for you as possible, so you can really hear all the, the I like to call it the slapping of the sand. It's just beautiful, all the lapping onto the sand. West Coast, beautiful. Can't tell you anything else, but just beautiful. But like all the other coastlines, because all of them are different beauty, you cannot compare the west to the south, or the south to the southeast, or to the east. All of them are completely different. You get a different feel, different surroundings. Some are very nature-based, some are more commercial, but they're all beautiful. So if you want an island that offers every type of beach and every type of coastline, this is the place to come. I'm only preaching to those that have been here before because I know all of them uh, will tell you the same thing. But for anyone that's new on here, because we do get a lot of people that have never been to Barbados are now finding our channel, believe it or not. I'm getting a lot of comments on YouTube about how they've never seen Barbados. I've also had a very interesting comments that this is that the EMC video channel on YouTube is the only place that they can get comprehensive coverage of the island right now. And that is what we do. That's because we spread the beauty, we spread the joy, we spread the care, and we spread the love. So that's what we're going to continue doing. Lovely hotel. Now, any of you who have been here years ago, remember you used to have the five-sided, big white umbrellas with the two tiers, massive umbrellas. They've changed that now completely. So everything has been redone down here. Beautiful, beautiful facility. Directly in front of us is the Coral Reef Hotel. That is closed at the moment. Um, you will see all of the restaurant area, all the chairs and stuff out there at the moment. But they, that is standard, that is seasonal for them for sure. They close down for the month of September and get themselves ready for season. So it's not only the ongoing program they have to do, but they're the heavier programs that you need to do with maintenance down here or on any of the coastline of the hotels. So they usually, I, I like to see that. I like to see a hotel. How are you going, sir? I like to see a hotel close down and do the renovations and then reopen. You know, I've stayed in a couple overseas in some of the Caribbean islands as well where they've had construction going on on the hotel. Not my favorite thing to do for sure. I like peace and quiet. I don't want to hear any noise. I don't want to hear any jackhammers. Not what I want to enjoy at all. I just saw a little glitch here in the signal. I hope it didn't affect too many of you all. It beats me as to why down here would not have a clear signal. And we also have seen that as well over the last few days. Hopefully my friend at Flo will get back in contact with me and I can start discussing with him where the problems are. We can get them rectified. That would be great. I have offered my services, so hopefully they will utilize them. I mean, there's really no one else that goes island-wide coverage except for the EMC. You know, we do this here every day. There's nowhere in the island we do not cover. You know, we're not doing a lot of the center of the parish right now, uh, the island right now, sorry, because of um, the hiking protocols and stuff. So, you know, we do all the coastline. So anywhere in this island, we can be at any given day. So we are, quite, are probably a very, very reliable source for the video signals. And you all, you all are testimony to that. You all know where glitches, where it's not showing, etc. But when I drive back from the far, far out locations, I'm actually finding some dead spots in areas I didn't expect. So there's quite a bit of stuff still to go on, but I guess it's pretty good for now. You know, I mean, I'm just being picky, but I'm allowed to be picky if I want to be, that's me. 
That is my personal choice. <laughs> so, some of us are picky about our clothes, and some of us are picky about our video signals. Count me as the latter one. All right, this is a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. I've seen and talked to many guests that have stayed here in the past over the years, and I've also had family that have stayed here in the past over the years as well too. And this is one beautiful, beautiful hotel. It is a, has a feel of the old time Barbados. The O'Hara's that used to run here, I'm not sure who owns it now, but I remember they always try to maintain that Caribbean feel in the hotel. Hi, good morning to you. Now this is a lovely boardwalk that's been laid. Well, not boardwalk, it's a sandy walk, but under here is solid concrete. And this has been laid uh, a while back because you were unable to walk around here. This you see all beach folks, right out the front of these big boulders here. You will see sand that's built up, but this was all beach. So you could walk around here comfortably, I would say maybe 15 years ago, comfortably on sand. But over the years, it's just gone off, as you have seen. So, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. That is nature. That's what, um, you know, that's God's decision. So there's nothing we can do about that. So we use our serenity prayer on that one for sure. But look at the grounds here. I mean, it's just beautiful. I still love these older style hotels that were not multi, multi stories, you know, maybe two, three stories up. I just love them because it, it just sends a signal of not, it doesn't look commercial like the big, big resorts that have maybe 300 rooms and stuff. You know, so these are like, for me, a touch back in time. You know, I, I just love it, really do love it. All right, we're almost at our destination. Um, I was looking to go further today, but we're almost an hour into it now. So we're gonna stop at Fort Stone Park, but I'm still gonna talk to you from Fort Stone itself. Um, anyone that's been to Barbados and knows Stiletto, they would know the two brothers that run the two stilettos. Um, rabbit and well I know Parrot doesn't run stilettos but he's one of the brothers as well all of them are, are named after animals <laughs> so, and Graham I don't know what Graham's nickname is so I'm not gonna call it but if you all know Graham you all would know his nickname for sure but you could call stiletto out like like scotch and soda a landmark for the west coast the boats have changed over the years they had smaller catamarans stiletto one and stiletto two they don't have the bigger ones that you've seen in the distance just now one of the original stilettos is over there, that small white catamaran. Not the first one with the yellow mask, but the second one that's a little bit smaller. That was one of the original stilettos back in time. So if you've been here for many years, you have probably been on that if you've been on the West Coast. Good morning, folks. What a beautiful, beautiful day this is. All right, now I talked about before, if you don't want to snorkel um, with a flag and you want a little more freedom and stuff, you can see the buoys. I will scan around the entire area. Hopefully you can see the buoys in this resolution. This marks off Fort Stone Underwater Park. There's also a marine museum on land as well. But these buoys, um, no watercraft are permitted within this area. So you can come here and snorkel very comfortably. It is a protected reef. No fishing or spear fishing can go on in this area. Actually, there are a lot of protected reefs from here right up to Sandy Lane, etc. And also in some of the Carlisle Bay areas. But this is one um, that has a complete cordon off of buoys, so you can come here comfortably. Now, if the West Coast is breaking, you do not want to come here. This is a break that's called Church Point. Out here it gets huge because it's a very shallow reef and it gets massive right here. All this whole area you're looking at now that's so calm and placid turns into a huge swell and very, very powerful swell as well. So just be wary of that. Again, I would like to mention if there's a West Coast swell going on, I would not recommend swimming on the West Coast if it's an incoming swell because it can go from, seriously, it can go from a knee-high wave into overhead wave in one set. It's just how it happens on the West Coast. And there's really no advance warning. You can look at the coastline if you are a, a avid surfer and you're familiar with how to pick up sets coming in, fine. But if you're just a usual vacationer that's looking 20 feet around you or just to the shore and enjoying the beauty, you won't see it creeping up on you. If you want what, a Wi-Fi facilities, this NCC offers that as well. Um, so you can come here and spend the entire day. There are all types of little bars that have been set up here. There's one just right here now. And there are also all the beach chairs that they rent. And then behind are all the facilities, um, showers, bathrooms, etc. And then you have the museum over in distance. There's also a big restaurant here, Folkestone Restaurant. I don't know if that's in operation right now. That's the orange structure there in the middle. I'm not too sure of the opening of these places, so forgive me. I do know they're here, but the actual schedules and stuff, I am not 100% sure of. Don't worry, we haven't stopped our swimming. We're going back in the sea again real soon, so don't worry. Thank you for all of you that are staying on still. I know the numbers have dropped, but I understand that. You know, you just want to get your dose of medicine and then you move on. 
So I appreciate that as well. And hopefully later on we'll have this up on YouTube in a better condition. Even clearer signal that you can enjoy it in your big screen TVs. I pretend I have a big screen at home. I shut one eye and look at it. And that way then it looks massive to me. So, <laughs> so I like to work with that. In the distance you'll see Discovery Bay. It's just a shell now. Um, that is going to be worked on. I saw a little bit of work going on the front side. I don't know if it was just cleaning up more or if it's actually starting to do some work. And beyond that is... Um, you know, just beautiful whole town. Stunning, stunning conditions. All right, we can go in and see right here. Just going to drop off my bag on the side here that's dry. Not too worried about anybody having it because, you know, I only have an umbrella on it. So here we go. We're going to make our way in here. Now, there is reef here, so we're going to just be sort of like wading off at the shoreline. But I thought it'd be a nice place to, you know, say our goodbye for today. Okay, visibility again, transparent. It's like looking through glass, just beautiful, beautiful conditions. You will notice all the different groins and catchment groins that have been dropped along the west coast. You'll probably see them in the distance, up by Sunset Crest itself, where is the sun um, by Sunset Crest. Uh, you will see there's also um, well, the beach club that used to be. Lots of boulders and stuff out there. There's a walkway right around. So where you can't get in the west coast, the majority of the places on the points have what ways so you can get around comfortably so we are now in a protected zone taking a swim it's just beautiful out here make my way across a little bit of coral and stuff so i can get deep enough to show you what's going on here all right folks this is gonna be our last silent 360 for the day so here we go I'm not sure why this has taken us over an hour because we did it in like, I think 53 minutes or something last time. But I think it's just because the beauty and the way I feel right now. I'm feeling so wonderful today. I'm feeling just passionate about everywhere I'm seeing and absorbing all of the beauty. I'm really enjoying your company. I'm reading some of the comments today where I don't usually get the chance to do so. I'm really, really feeling on top of the world. So this is how I'm going to go forward today. My armor is on. So whatever comes my way, I have started with peace. My entire body is protected by peace and love and serenity and care from you all. So I'm going to be having a fantastic day today. No matter what happens today, I will resort back to this morning if I need to and put myself back in that frame of mind and start all over again. So I would like you all to have a fantastic day, everyone. Please spread your love, spread your care. You know, you have seen things today that many will have not and will never see. You know, and I really appreciate you all being here with me. I appreciate everything that you all do because I know for sure you all carry this program into the general public wherever you all go. I know for sure you all are spreading love. Just keep spreading the word about the EMC. Let's get this family bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. Remember, the more numbers, the stronger we are. You know, there's no strength when you're individual, but unity will bring strength. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Go forward, follow your light, be peaceful. Be joyful, be positive, and have a fantastic day. Greetings from Barbados. All of my love and all of my respect. Have a fantastic day.